and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for the return of four color gates. We'll be playing this deck in ranked, uh, even though this is a donation deck. Uh, the donation said, let's go ahead and play it in ranked. because I really think highly of this deck in best of three. We tried it in best of one on Monday, on best of one day Monday, and it didn't go as well for us, but I'm very, um, very bullish, ram ramish very ramish on this deck in best of three i think this has the tools to beat the sacrifice decks which is what you what you need to, to have just to start with in the format you need to be able to beat those sacrifice decks and i think this deck does a really good job of that um and that's kind of like where it starts and then from there you have like a lot of card advantage against control decks um the decks that give you the most struggle are going to be the decks with a lot of counter spells but still, even there, you you have some you have some tools that that uh, can still get the job done. Something like Hydroid Crisis, uh, that you know gets to draw you a lot of cards, even if it gets countered. And you you can you have like some good ramp with like Growth Spiral Circuitous Route, try to get to like six plus mana, and then you can start double spelling with your three mana spells. And you have some tools there, but that's those are going to be the matches that give you the most trouble. But anyway, um, and then of course our sideboard, you know, we have things like Niv-Mizzet and Negate and things like that for those matchups. But anyway, let's let's go ahead and go. We've, we've played this deck a few times before. Traditional, standard, ranked. Let's go Mono Ram Aggro. Um, or Stompy. Mono Ram Stompy. There's 27 lands in the deck. So keeping a two lander, there's a good chance that we draw more lands. Good chance. The thing is, this hand doesn't have any ramp. This deck's definitely built around ramp, so maybe we shouldn't keep because it doesn't have any ramp. Do really like having Gates of Blazes, though. So maybe I need to mulligan the hand because there's no ramp. And realistically, I probably should have. The more I think about it. Scry three to the top. Lots of... So a lot of cards to scry to the top. Yeah, board wipes are definitely really valuable as well. And so, like, you know, game you know game one, board wipes are definitely very valuable. And so that's why I kept the hand. Hmm. Hey, Dink. Just playing some magic. Cure is pretty great. The ocean surges, life thrives. Looks like they're gonna be drawing a lot of cards. They're drawing a lot of cards. Yeah, you can just send a link to the deck. Um, but yeah, the, the donation. Yeah, there's there's a button down below the stream that says donate. Here, that's the that's the link also. Yeah, 
Yeah, Lotus Field Kiora, of course, is a really nice combo. Nature flows with vigor. I wanted to draw a gate there to have like the fourth gate in play and of course draw another card and then because uh, I, I want to have five gates in play whenever I gate to blaze to take out the love struck beast and and everything we only have three right now I could Clarion plus a Blaze. I can't route plus a blaze you know, I don't have I don't have the mana for that that would be that would have been the like that would have been a good play but I don't have the mana for that Have counter magic too. I was trying to figure out what they untapped, like their land for key, or if they're just going to be using blast zone, or if they, you know, like if they had something more important that they untapped for. Just keeping everything on top. I love to make a splash. Just hopefully, hopefully it's not something too devastating. Devastating. I can double a blaze. That doesn't even kill that thing, though, does it? The Hydra, that is.
No, Plaza Harmony is not a gate. <clears throat> so we could do six damage to everything, or it could go double gate Colossus. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we're going to have to take the 4 from the Sphinx of Foresight also, so we're taking 12 here, at least, and we let them draw another card with the Soul Diviner, let them scry again with the Sphinx of Foresight. Let's get moving. Yeah, the plaza, yeah. Yeah, the plaza is a gate. Hey, Mark. Oh, that's so many cards over there. They're outdrawing my guild summit. Hey, Elder Two. I mean, I guess I'm gonna have to like double blaze. Yeah, I thought they'd have another Kiora. I thought that was the most likely thing, is they had another Kiora. They're going to have to block the Gate Colossus somehow to keep their cure alive. Yeah, with your list, you can put it, you can put a link to it in just in the donation message. That's the easiest. Do you know how to link your deck list? Like not, not just copy paste the whole list in there, but paste a link. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, 10. Okay. Um. Found all the gates.
there you go. There's the the list, or like that. That's the link to submit a deck list. The ocean surges, life thrives. Using like MTG Goldfish. You can send me. You can send me a whisper on here. That's a bunch of lands. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twenty two cards. I, I should discard the gross pile, probably. Maybe not. Yeah, I mean, I think these gate classes are just gonna keep, keep trucking and keep attacking with them. But yeah, expansion explosion could end this one if we draw that. Yes, yeah, this, this ram's kind of big. My pro my opponent's probably not used to playing smaller creatures. <laughs> Oh, yeah, mass manipulation would definitely wreck us, for sure. And you look like lunch. Okay. I don't I guess oh so they're going to Nature flows with vigor. Try to kill all the crises. Okay. <laughs> Benthic Biomancer. Let's talk about a card that's not doing very much. Probably should have just attacked them the, the last turn instead of attacking Kiora. I kind of want to just play the Hydro Crisis, even though they have the Blast Zone, just to get just to look for Expansion Explosion. Yeah, I guess we'll just play the fourteen fourteen. Go to fifty one. Oh, 
So yeah, speaking of mass manipulation, that sounds like a good card for us to be playing. <clears throat> Let's play some of those. <laughs> Do I really need the Archway Angel? It doesn't seem like it. It seems like the Angel's a little slow, or a little small. A little small for the matchup. Maybe a second expansion explosion. Or just play a Niv Mizzet. Let's play a second expansion. I don't really like Ceratops because they're playing Lovestruck Beast. Like, I, I don't really like matching up Ceratops against Lovestruck Beast. And Ceratops will just die to my sweepers. Yeah, we are just talking about that. How, yeah, I should build a Kiora deck. My opponent definitely is all out in the Kiora stuff. I don't think, I don't know if I'd go like this, this much Kiora, you know, like Lotus Field and everything. I, I don't know if you need Lotus Field. But just like Gruul Kiora with Spellbreaker and Shifting Ceratops and Questing Beast. It's intriguing. <laughs> Considering how stompy this match is, the manipulation is now referring to weight rather than quantity. This looks kind of like our last hand. We're on the draw this time, though. Easier to draw lands whenever you're on the draw. Yeah, Gruul Kiora. So it's either like play Ram on three or try to play Route on four. And I'd rather play Route on four. So I'm gonna play like this guild gate here. If we drew an untapped land, then I'd just you know then I'd be able to play ram into route. But I'd rather play route. They get to draw a card of the Soul Diviner, of course. That's fine. They got five cards. I got five cards. All right. Well, Ceratops is something to be worried about.
I guess might as well put 24 power into play. <laughs> eight, 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 eight. It's just crazy eights. Crazy eights. No, I don't think I want to steal Kiora right now. Cool. I want to get a little bit higher life total. Of course, Krasis cannot block Ceratops. I don't want them to like be able to kill the Ram and then kill me. Don't call it eight wreck. It's eight wrecked. Well, if they can give that thing haste and also have removal for Gatebreaker Ram, they can win this. As is, I don't, I, I don't know what they're supposed to do. I guess they haven't played a land yet, right? So they, if they play a land, untap a land, play the Love Struck Beast, do they survive? Yes, they do. Until I cast Mass Manipulation, then they don't. They, yeah, they don't have mana for another Ceratops. Yeah, I, I can understand that the first time playing against it, though, Frisky. All right, we're 1-0. and oh. Grab that win. So, saw a circuitous route being awesome there. Yeah, this, this card cannot be blocked by creatures power two or less. They cannot block that. All right, let's draw lands. <laughs> that was the that was the first match. So yeah, just updated so we're one and out now. No. <laughs> well, last match we drew lands both times to keep in a T lander. We drew lands. This match, not so much.
So, blue black reanimate. We're basically just kind of like this game's over. We're basically seeing if they play other colors. Agent of Treachery. We are not a good deck against Agent of Treachery because you know, like we're just playing just a few singular, very huge threats. This is this deck's very weak to Agent of Treachery. So this is not a good matchup. At least it's not if they get to play a bunch of Agent of Treacheries, that is. Okay, so they are Grixis. Hey, track team. Life's going great. Hey, RMGGs. That was a pretty sweet Diviner deck, though. I really like Kiora. Kiora's awesome. I just don't I don't know if I really want a Blaze or Clarion. I try taking him out. <clears throat> That's true. The Gatebreaker Ram is pretty good against Agent because they they take the great Gatebreaker Ram and then it turns into a two two. So they're not playing Gates. And then you know we have Shifting Ceratops here, which is good against Agent, being protection from blue. Lands. But we're going to have to be perfect here. You know we're going to have to win two in a row. We don't have any room for error since we didn't play Magic the first game. <laughs> I thought your 8-9 Hydra was going to do some work. Yeah, I was going to say, you probably, you probably don't play against many decks that have larger creatures than you with that deck. This does mean that I'm not routing next turn. Unless we draw an on tap land. Pretty powerful. Hey, Frisky Biscuits, thanks for gifting out a sub. as well attack. I mean, it does keep them from like, they don't have to cast the ritual set now, but that is our seventh sub of the day.
Oh, Nickel Bolas Dragon God also. That's a, that's a pr pretty good hand here. Fire's Invention is a good card. We have mass manipulations. Mass manipulation would be nice. That'd be a good draw. We're a little short with both explosion and shifting ceratops. Both of those are just a little short. Thanks, Thomas Love. Mass manipulation. GG's. <clears throat> I think opponent had, you know, like their their, you know, five percent best draws both games. Really just awesome stuff. Fires invention's good. All right, so Guild Summit and Circuitous Route are two biggest, like our biggest engine card, our best ramp card. So definite keep. Maybe a little bit behind the times if we don't draw untapped lands, but we're not mulliganing this. Counterspell decks are going to be tough. We talked about that. If Guild Summit would resolve, that would be amazing. I have no... No real aspiration of it resolving. Especially with them shocking in earlier. Definitely expect them to have more counter magic. How broken would Gates of Ablaze be if it affects Planeswalkers and only opponent's side of the board? Yeah, it would be very, very broken. We didn't have Gates of Blaze in hand. This is not a Gates of Blaze matchup, of course. We also don't have red mana. Ooh, we get to resolve Guild Summit. We get to resolve a Guild Summit.
They, of course, can have Teferi or Brazen Borrower that rebounces it. But we get it in play. Draw four cards. We'll take that. Yeah, sometimes. Some people stream snipe. That happens. Will do. There you go. Draw more cards. I like getting rid of that thing because they can just keep bouncing it. Classes. That's an important one. All right, four color control. Okay. For Pioneer? Oh no, I don't I don't play any Pioneer. Oh no. I do not play Pioneer. That's not on Arena. Okay, Historic? Okay. Yeah, I have, I have Historic. Yeah, you can play Historic. Do you have a link to the deck list? The, the message cut off right after the this is for Pioneer, by the way. Because that's that's as much as the, the message has. Do, do you have a link to the deck list?
Yeah, you have to send me a link. Yeah, just just copy paste the the link. You'll be good to go there. Okay, let's see. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 mana. Keep these gates in hand to be able to play and get the guilt, get the gate colossuses back. Okay. No more planar cleansings, I guess. They didn't have any blue castles, which helped out. I don't know. Having those removal spells did help. Cool. Didn't want to try against the large gate deck. Yeah, but I did not like, did not like the gate breaker rams. There you go. Good job, Arm. Good job. Shineshire. Is that a reference to the Shire? When it's shining? Do foxes bark? Is that a new thing? Did foxes develop a barking ability that I was never aware of? Perfect. Four color control. Got it. Um, what what day and what time slot do you want me to play the deck? There, Dank. Yep, it worked. Um, do you want me to play it? You know, first, second, third, or fourth, and what day? Yeah, I can do it. Fox is always barked. Oh, 
Okay, the Star Wars movie was good. Hmm. The real question is, should I expansion the circuitous route and copy it? No, I, th I think we just save explosion at this point. Let's get this plaza in here. Okay. All right, thank you. Yes, yeah, so I'll I'll play it tomorrow for you. We have 3 times the number of lands they do. Is that good? Gonna be gain eighteen life. I'm gonna keep a blaze, I'm gonna take out Clarion, we're gonna play Knight of Autumn and Manipulation, and we're gonna trim I don't I don't know like Angel's kinda Archway Angel's kinda weird here. Hey Hawkeye. Hey, Hawkeye, did you eat your, your food? You didn't eat your lunch, did you? There you go, help him with that. Um... Yeah, replace Krasis, just replace it with like mass manipulation, Niv Mizzet. You just play the fourth archway angel. You play more expansion explosions. You need things that draw cards and win the game. Expansion explosions, good at doing both of those. Um... So we're just going to play one manipulation. All right. Okay. That guy's being a weird cat. His new thing, you know, since his surgery with getting his teeth pulled, is he, he really doesn't like eating out. You know, I feed him canned food, but he had like he has like little bowls that I, I fill up and, and give him a little bit of canned food for breakfast, lunch, dinner. His new thing is he doesn't like eating out of the bowls, and it's easier if the food's just on the ground for him, basically, where he can just kind of like throw it to the back of his mouth kind of thing. I don't know why I can't do that while it's in the bowl, but I don't know. But that's his thing. So I've been, you know, if I take out like little pieces of the food and put it on the ground, then then he likes it a lot more. Anyway. His new new thing is... So, that, so that's his thing. So I, I tried just putting it on like a little dish for him. And I was like, here, go ahead and... He, you know, just have like the food on the dish and I can clean the dish and and you know like that works very easily
But then, but then when it was on the dish, he just like wouldn't eat it. And so I just put it. I had like on a, like a flattened out paper sack was like the ground that I was talking about. So I just put it back on the paper sack. And then you were eating it, but now you're back up here with me. Why don't you go eat your, why don't you go eat your lunch? So I don't have white mana right now. Gate Colossus is like my best blocker, but if I go Circuitous Route, then I can have a lot better turn next turn. But it's really risky if I just try to go in Circuitous Route, because then we're dead to kind of everything. Hmm. I know, my opponent's killing me. I know, it's not, it's not fair. So whenever I give my cat something in a dish, the first thing he does is take it out of the dish and yeah, proceed to eat it, making a mess, yep. My cat won't drink water out of a bowl, so I had to buy a cat drinking water fountain that plugs in, now it's the only thing she drinks from. Don't have white mana. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna bring in the second mass manipulation again. I'm gonna take out a uh, a guild summit. If I would have gone crisis for four, I was still. I was just taking lethal on board. I, that doesn't gain enough life to stay alive. Nimes are for destroying these fires of inventions. Their best card in their deck. Gotta destroy those. Rex, you don't have to be rude. Don't be rude. So this time I have Gates of Blaze, but no red. Last time we had no white. All right, there's red. <laughs> yeah, they've they're basically just playing Bone Crusher dot deck. I really hope no fires of invention. As long as there's no fires of invention, we'll be we'll probably be okay. Good, no fires. <laughs> I'm known for my excellent I have got it.
No, don't. Come on. Stop. Stop. Well, Archway Angel can gain two, four, six, eight life next turn. I could also just play like Ram plus Knight of Autumn. Why would they not play anything? They gotta just they just have counter magic? I didn't play like the Bone Crusher Giant. Like, what? What do they want to do? Like, their their deck doesn't doesn't usually do a whole lot of instant speed. Guess they got Brazen Barber. done the hero thing before. It's either gain 10 life or go Gates of Blade. I guess either way, if they have another haste creature here, I die. I could gain gaining four life doesn't doesn't do enough. Oh yeah, never mind. They just bounce the. the Giant for a shock. Um, all right, I guess I need to gain four life. Whoops. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't really see that play when I was considering things to play. All right, I should have gained four life. Well, that's unfortunate. We were just a little too slow. I wouldn't. Um, I wouldn't really mind playing that match again. I think that we'd be okay. We were just a little kind of awkward and. And they just always had like the bone crusher giants that, that really punished us for being just a little awkward. All right, we two and two. So Breeding Pool versus Simic Guildgate. Forest versus Dizzit Guildgate. I, of course, could play the Plaza there and then Growth Spiral. Hmm. I wouldn't have had an, an untapped land to play for the Circuitous route this turn anyway.
That's a good card for me to see. That's a card that got, that dies to Gates of Blaze and doesn't doesn't trigger Risen Reef. So that's good. If they just had like another regular 1-1 one, one and not Risen Reef, I probably would have waited a turn and taken a hit. Maybe I should have done it either way. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yay, picked up a spell. So we can't block Ceratops. But yeah, it turns out waiting on the waiting on the Gates of Blaze for another turn would have been better with a backup Ceratops, but oh well. <laughs> Looks like they're trying to decide if they want to bounce. Crisis, I think. Maybe attack or defend Nissa. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Nope. All right, so we have to just draw a sweeper. It's not a sweeper. And this is definitely difficult for us to deal with. The planeswalkers in general. That that's the downfall of this deck are planeswalkers. So we'll have two manipulation to try to fight Nissa that way. Could play some negates also. I'm going to cut one summit and one archway angel for the two manipulations. Yeah, Immortal Sun would be awesome in this deck, just in general. This would be a very good Immortal Sun deck. No blue mana. The rest of our hand's awesome, though. We just got to draw a blue land. Cause then we get to Growth Spiral and Circuitous Route and all that kind of stuff. No, I'm not I'm not interested in Ceratops. I'm sure they're playing, you know, Cavalier Thorns and all sorts of stuff. Well it's red mana, I said I need blue. Oh 
Well, next turn we can have route. I mean, I just need to wait on the gates of blaze. That was a that was a mistake by me. That was an awesome Risen Reef. Wow. Is it three lands? Yeah, that was just an amazing Risen Reef. I protect that which cannot protect itself. Behold, nature's true power. Good hand. Rise, my elemental friend. So maybe we get to Circuitous route the next turn and make the ram large enough to pressure this Nissa to keep it from ultimating. I wouldn't necessarily say that that's likely. Yeah. That that's not a good matchup. I think we found our worst matchup. I'd rather play against the flash deck than play against that with four color gates. Nissa is so hard for us to beat, but then so is Agent of Treachery and so is Negate, and or not Negate, sorry. Um, but yeah, Nissa with Agent of Treachery. That's tough. Um, that that that's not a good matchup. You know, like there's times like like the Jeskai fires that we lost right before that. I thought that that, that match felt pretty. You know, like whenever you play the match, you can you can kind of feel if it. You can kind of see if it feels good or, or not, like if you would play it again. Like, I think that if we would play against the Jeskai Fires again, we would be just fine. But, you know, like our, our draws just, you know, just didn't go our way. But the, uh, that Simic Ramp deck, I would, no, I don't think we would be beating that very often. Um, but we, we avoided all the sacrifice decks, unfortunately. That's that's really what our deck preys on is Jun Sacrifice, and the the called and familiar decks. That's really our best matchups, and we didn't face any of those. Um, and uh, 
Ended up going two and three. So yeah, Nessa ramp. Very bad for the deck. <clears throat> Small creature decks are usually where we want to be playing again. So the Gates of Blaze is like, you know, with eight sweepers after sideboard, with Ga Gates of Blaze, Clarion, and then bigger creatures with Ram, Colossus, stuff like that. Um, but I wish we wish we could have replayed that Jeskai Fires one. Oh well. Um Anyway, that's four color gates. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, let me know what you think of the deck. You know, hit that like button over there, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.